Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is August 20th, 2024, and it's reported that Ilkay Gundogan's exit is imminent. Also, a report today was stating that Deco is still obsessed with signing someone for the pivot position. And finally, Athletic Club de Bilbao threatened legal action in order to prevent Barcelona from signing Nico Williams. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mo and before I begin with the news just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button Subscribe to the channel and drop a comment. All of this helps this channel continue to grow Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise Make sure you hit the goal kit, skip back or fanatics and if you are looking to place any sports bets Make sure you head to bet us. All links are down below in the description. Now I'm beginning this video with good news because guess who's back at the club it's no other than our own gold medalist, Fermin Lopez, who just came back from vacation after a pretty busy summer, having won the Euros and then won the Olymp Olympic gold in Paris. And as such, Barcelona had ordered him to take at least a one week vacation, which Fermin Lopez did. And now he's back at the club, ready to report to his new coach. Hansi Flick. Now I have to say I'm pretty happy to see Fermin Lopez back at the club, especially after incredible summer that he had. And also Fermin Lopez was the last player that was yet to come back to the club. So now with Fermin back, we have the full squad, except of course for the players who are still injured, like Frankie De Jong and Gabi. Now more news because it's reported that Ilkay Gundogan's exit is imminent and that he's only a few hours away from returning to Manchester City. Now all of this began last week when Hansi Flick reportedly had a serious conversation with Gundogan and where Flick told Gundogan that he's not gonna be having as many minutes as he did last season because given the arrival of Dani Olmo and the, the rise of Fermi Lopez and the plethora of, the, of midfielders that Barcelona have, Coupled with the advanced age of Ilkay Gundogan, Flick told Gundogan that he's not going to have as many minutes as he did last season, where he was an undisputed starter in every single match of every single competition. Now, it's reported that after this conversation, Ilkay Gundogan's entourage began to make moves in the market to see what the alternatives of the players are out there. And knowing what alternatives Gundogan had, which are plenty, the German... Turkish midfielder informed Barcelona that if they wanted him out due to financial fair play, that he wasn't going to cause any problems and that he had no problem leaving to help the club as long as it was to another competitive club. And while Barcelona did confirm to Ilkay Gundogan that yes, indeed, they do have financial fair play problems and even though they do highly appreciate him, of course, his departure would alleviate their wage bill and help them register players like Dani Olmo and maybe even another player. And as such, Ilkay Gundogan picked up the phone, called Pep Guardiola, and it's reported that his former coach told him that he would love to have him back in the Premier League. And as such, it's reported that Ilkay Gundogan is only hours away from returning to his former club. And in fact, today Ilkay Gundogan did not participate in today's training, which further confirms that his exit is imminent. Now, this, of course, begs the question, what do you think about Ilkay Gundogan's departure? Do you think it's the right move? Do you think it's not? You know, on one hand, he was one of our best midfielders, if not our best midfielder during last season. He has plenty of experience. He was a fundamental piece of that Manchester City that conquered the Trebel. But on the other hand, he is 34 years old. His performance will start a dip pretty soon. In fact, he just announced his retirement out of the German national team. Plus, when you couple all of that with the fact that we have plenty of midfielders, and his salary could go towards registering others. I think the balance is kind of pretty even. So I am curious to hear what do you guys think? Do you think Gundogan leaving is the right decision, bad decision? Let me know down below. Anyway, speaking of midfielders, today a report was surfacing stating that Deco is still obsessed with signing someone for the pivot position. And in fact, he was going to try to do that 
right before the closing of this summer transfer market. Now, as you know, at the beginning of this summer, Deco was in the market looking for someone for the pivot position, whether it was Amadou or Nana, which he ended up going to Aston Villa, or Kimmich, which was not possible because of his salary, or even Mikel Merino. It was then, this whole matter was then laid to rest when Hansi Flick reported to Deco and the club that he did not need anyone for the pivot position with the rise of Marc Casado and Marc Bernal. And when we all thought that this matter was dead, a new report surf surfaced today stated that Deco was still obsessed with bringing someone to the pivot position and that he's gonna try to do that before the end of the summer transfer market and that in fact, Deco had reached out to Fofana to see if he'd be willing to come. However, he had already signed a contract with AC Milan. While hours after this report surfaced, this was completely denied by sources close to the club, stating that no, Deco is not in the market looking for any, anyone for the pivot position because Barcelona considered the midfield as pretty complete with you know Dani Olmo, Fermin Lopez, and Pedri competing for that number 10 position. And with Gabi, Frank de Jong, Marc Casado, and Marc Bernal competing for that double pivot position. Now more news because it's been revealed that Athletic Club de Bilbao threatened legal action against Barcelona in order to avoid them from signing Nico Williams. Now as you know by now, Barcelona were ready to activate the 58 million euro release clause that Nico Williams has at Athletic Club de Bilbao. And it seemed when Athletic Club de Bilbao saw that the player was very close to leaving them, they picked up the phone, they called La Liga's president Javier Tebas and they threatened legal action stating that if Barcelona paid the 58 million euros, they would be doing so in violation of the financial fair play rules and as such they would file a legal complaint to invalidate that transaction. So even if Barcelona paid the 58 million euro cash, Nico Williams said yes, I'm coming. Athletic Club de Bilbao would have filed paperwork saying that that was illegal and therefore invalidating the transaction and bringing Nico Williams back to their club. Now it looks like Athletic Club de Bilbao also informed Nico Williams of their intent to file this legal action and that well, might as well or could have uh, persuaded the player to stay at Athletic Club de Bilbao. We won't know for sure but you can only imagine if you're a young player like Nico Williams dreaming of playing in Barcelona and all of a sudden your own club is telling you, hey, if you sign for them, we're going to file legal action and it's going to be invalidated and you're going to be back here the next day. I could see that swaying the mind of the player, which just goes to show how dirty Atletico Club de Bilbao are. You know, from the whole Negreira case where them, you know, with the fans throwing those dollars saying that Barcelona bribed referees to constantly complain about Barcelona trying to take Nico Williams even though that's how markets work and now we find out that they were ready to file legal action even though they're always doing the same exact things to other Basque clubs in the region constantly going taking poaching players away but when someone's trying to do it to them all of a sudden it's the end of the world and it's unfair anyways that is all the news for this video we'll be uploading another video in a few moments so stay tuned to the channel don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, and as always, peace, Cavarsa.